In the unit potential energy diagrams came into play for thermochemistry, and they describe how a reaction occurs and the changes in energy that occur as the reaction proceeds. I want to go through and label some of the diagrams so you have a good understanding of what all the pieces are. We're going to start at A plus B. These are our reactants, our starting materials. As the reaction goes forward, imagine that we're on a roller coaster, and we begin to go up the click, 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 click parts of the roller coaster. At the very top of our roller coaster, is the activated complex. This is where the reactants are just ready to undergo the reaction, but haven't quite gotten that far. The energy that's needed to get to that point, in other words, the height of the hill for the forward reaction, is described as the activation energy. It's the energy required to get to the activated complex. Once the reaction proceeds and we actually form our product, which will be here at the end, we can ident identify the changes in energy that have occurred. The difference between the energy of the reactants and the energy of the products is uh, referred to as your delta H value. This is your enthalpy, or heat of reaction. If this value here is negative, as indicated on table I, that's going to indicate an exothermic reaction. If the products end up being higher than your reactants, that's an endothermic reaction. Again, it all depends upon the change in energy. If you end lower, that's exothermic. If you end higher, that's endothermic. There's one other piece in terms of potential energy diagrams that comes into play, typically seen in multiple choice, but occasionally on the part two as well. For this system, the activation energy typically will not change unless you have one specific condition. If you were to add a catalyst to the system, that's going to decrease the potential energy diagram's hill by providing an alternative pathway for the reaction to occur. It no longer needs to go through the entire energy hill. It can now take a shortcut and get to the other side. This means that less energy is required for the reaction to complete, and it goes more efficiently. Again, the key part to identifying this graph is realizing that the forward direction goes from left to right, just as we read. The reverse goes in the opposite direction. The activation energy of the forward reaction is the height of the hill in the forward direction, while the activation energy of the reverse is the height of the hill in the reverse. While these two values can be different, the change in energy between your products and reactants is always going to be the same, except possibly a different sign. This component difference between your product level and your reactant level, again, is your delta H, your enthalpy, or your heat of reaction.